Have you thought how much personal information is actually safe in the digital world? Today the spotlight shines on intriguing and at times unsettling world of data collection. Consider the case of a woman named Amy, a regular social media user. She was shocked to discover that her social media platform of choice had tracked every click, every like, every share and even her private messages. The platform had created a comprehensive profile of her, not just her interests, but her behaviors, her preferences, her routines and even her potential future actions. This is a real-life example of how personal data collection is no longer limited to names and email addresses. It's about gathering in-depth knowledge about individual's life. In another instance, let's talk about a man named Brian. He used a fitness tracking app to monitor his daily activities and workouts. One day he found that his health insurance premium has increased. The reason? His fitness app was sharing his data with insurance company, who in turn used it to adjust their premium rates. Brian was paying more, not because of change in his health, but because of data he was unknowingly sharing. You might think this can be true, but in reality it is just another example of what can happen if you do not consider your privacy. What if I tell you that privacy inviting tactics and data collection are employed by most of the corporations and their apps? What happens if this data will be stolen or hacked? What happens if the data falls into the wrong hands? Now let's delve into the realm of one of the tech giants and their operating system which is used by most of the world, a name synonymous with technology for many. It collects a vast amount of user data. They do so in the name of improving user experience, offering personalized suggestions and providing relevant ads. But what does the operating system data collection entail? Well, it's a broad spectrum, starting from search queries on Bing, the websites you visit, the purchases you made on Microsoft Store, to the voice commands you give to the Cortana, even the documents you create, the presentations you make and the emails you send are not exempt from data collection. But it doesn't stop there. If you are using a device running on Windows, Microsoft collects diagnostics data, including the health of your device, system performance and app usage details. This information is used to identify and troubleshoot potential issues or improve and personalize Microsoft products and services. The digital age has brought to us unprecedented convenience and connectivity. However, it's also opened the door to extensive personal data collection. Staying informed about data collection practices can help navigate the complex digital landscape. After all, in the world where data is the new oil, safeguarding personal information is more important than ever. One of the tools which helps enhancing your privacy is Blackbeard, and it does it good. Before you start experimenting with it, be aware that it does interfere with the system files and therefore it is going to be marked by majority of antivirus softwares as malicious. I am not advocate of Blackbeard, so I am just going to point out that these tech giants like you see on download page did not hesitate to associate their name with it. In the description I will also paste link with developer's take on his creation. So important note exception in antivirus software will be most likely the case. Also, in this video I'm not going to present software itself, rather show you how to deal with the issues which may occur while preserving privacy brought by this. For now enjoy the view and let me show you what is it about. After file is downloaded and extracted, I am going to run it as administrator to give Blackbeard necessary permissions to make changes. First thing to point out before anything is done, create a backup. This will help to recover it back to a previous state.
Because backup is important, I'm going to copy it right away to another location. Return back to Blackbeard and pressing random K will load initial menu again. If for whatever reason you will need some of the services which Blackbeard will disable, I would recommend to export current list of the services in use. Just click on the start and type in services.msc. Exporting list is as simple as clicking on action, then export list. And I'm going to give it intuitive name before Plugbeard. Some of the non-important features in this window might become unresponsive. I would recommend to make changes to themes or colors before Blackbeard is applied. Since you have backup, you can restore it, set up whatever in this window and reapply Blackbeard again. Last but not least, check the README file. You will find detailed description of what is going to happen or how to recover from certain situations. Do you need Windows Store or you are experiencing other issues? No problem, all you need to do is add parameter in Windows command line, which I am going to show you shortly. By holding Shift plus right click, drop down menu with the option to select CMD or PowerShell will appear. Type down current application name followed by parameter. Then you can execute it by simply pressing enter. Applying Blackberry is simple and I'm going to speed it up. The only thing you need is patience because it is going to take a while. Once process is finished, simply restart computer. Some of you might have already experienced situation when camera light flashed on your laptop out of the sudden for no reason and leave you wondering what happened and why. Despite answer to that is not so simple, what I can tell you is that it is probable that picture of what was in the front of the camera has been taken. Similar situation is with the microphone, except it might be listening all the time without you knowing about it. For privacy protection reasons, Blackbeard will restrict access to camera and microphone to Windows itself, which means user will not be able to use it too. In the same time, those two devices are used by many in day-by-day -day operations. So let me show you how to enable them back on demand. Just like you saw in video, you can open local group policy editor by clicking on start and typing in gpedit.msc. Then navigate to administrative templates, then Windows components. In Windows components find camera. And tricky part here is to click Disabled, Apply, Enabled, then Apply. Very similar thing we are going to do with the microphone, just navigate to App Privacy. Here you will see Let Windows Apps Access to Microphone. And here simply repeat the same process as we did with camera.
After these changes, I would recommend to restart PC. For those which are not familiar with the Notepad++ in this bonus section, I am going to show you how to use Compare. Follow me in video and install it. After installation is complete, head to the plugins. Click on plugins admin and search for the compare. Then install to install plugin. After a successful plugin installation, you will see Compare in the Plugins menu. Now, heads up to the services.msc and export the list again. And as usual, for easy recognition, give it a name after Blackbeard. To see differences in two text files, simply open one of them first. Click on Plugins, Compare and Set as first to compare. Then proceed with opening the second file. After that, click Plugins then compare and compare. And as you can see, all differences will be marked with the yellow color. Ok, that's it for now. I hope this video has been informative as well as helpful. See you next time.